Hello guys and thank you for joining me. My name is Eugen and today I'll be having a look at an interesting fountain pen. As most of my findings, I picked this one up from AliExpress. I thought that the shape and look of the pen was really interesting and, well, since I do have a soft spot for fountain pens made out of wood, uh, the curiosity got the best of me. As it was advertised by the seller, there were no actual branding associated with this fountain pen, but when I received it, I noticed that on the nib it was saying Montga Pari, um, and as such I doubt the, the Montga Pari. I hope I'm saying it right. Mont Go Paris. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I don't know if there is an actual French brand with that name. This for me is the first time hearing uh, or seeing this brand name. Going back to the fountain pen in question, yes, the cap does have eight uh, facets, but I don't think it's really inspired uh, by Kaweco. I mean, for once the clip is uh, part of the cap and it's not an optional accessory. Uh, at the same time, it's a little bit larger and it does look a little bit different than an actual Kaweco, Kaweco Sport. Going through the pen, um, it's fairly simple. It's uh, straightforward. Cap it's straight, body or barrel it's straight with uh, domed ends at both the barrel and the cap and the cap has this uh, pretty nice and cool uh, clip which is quite uh, quite functional actually it's a little bit springy and it definitely can be used easily to test out the clip it seems like it slides uh, over a a thin shirt, I guess you could call it, easily. This is what you'll have sticking out of your pocket and pulling it out should be nice and easy. It doesn't seem like it snags at all. The cap, it's pull-push type cap. It's quite satisfying and quite secure. It does grip on the pen quite nicely to the point that you can actually undo the barrel. So be careful with that, I guess. And once you remove the cap, the cap has a plastic liner where the section of the pen clips into. And once you remove the cap, you will reveal, well, this. And this is the nib that it comes with. Let me try and get a close up in here. As, as you can see, it says Mongo Pari, and he has a nice uh, flower on the on the nib. The nib it's uh, gold-like looking, not actual gold, as in 14 karat or anything like that. It has um, pretty standard feed, nothing special about it. The section is made out of metal as far as I can tell, most probably brass painted. It actually has quite uh, quite a good weight to it. It's uh, balance somewhere in there. So as you can see, it's quite heavy towards the section side. Now, the cap, it can be put on top of the pen, however, doesn't really stay there so i'm not i'm not sure i would consider this um, pen postable since as you write the cap will move up and down and it's probably maybe a little bit weird and awkward okay maybe i should stop doing that um so i don't think personally i would recommend using this cap i don't know if you can do anything to make it sit on top of the pen but unfortunately it is what it is however even from my hands i think i can write with this pen fairly comfortable just just grabbing a little paper in here and 
yeah, I don't think I'll have an issue using it as is. I know that most probably some people might not like it because you will look a little bit too small maybe in their hand or maybe it is too small in their hand. But from what I can see, I don't see I, I don't see it as a big issue. I will definitely be able to use this pen without much of a problem. Okay, going back to the pen, the barrel really is made out of wood. Uh, it actually treads on the section quite nicely. The only problem that I see with this is that the treads are wood. And um, I'm not sure if they'll have a long life on this if you force it. So you might want to be gentle with it. I see there, that there is a little bit of channel in there, so maybe adding some silicone o-ring might help, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll give it a try. I have some o-rings somewhere around here, and I'll give it a try later on and see how it works. Maybe I'll come back in the conclusion section. So when you screw back in the barrel, don't go overboard, just go gently and snug don't don't force it because if you strip those metal uh, metal <laughs> those wood threads you'll probably be out of luck the pen does come with uh, actual uh, full uh, size converter it's actually a nice converter can be opened up to be serviced if needed so all in all the pen looks Pretty nice, I like it. Um, I'm not sure what type of wood this is. Smelling it. <laughs> it smells a little bit like uh, bacon. So I don't know what type of wood that is. I believe that in the um, ad description was saying abanos. Could be, I'm not sure. This is the pen, um, fairly simple. I like that. I like the design of it. It's nothing com too complicated or too crazy. It's simple, slick lines, and I really like that uh, that clip on it. it. Has a really nice design. For today, I wanted to try this ink. Ooh, well, French sound liking uh, fountain pen, I guess. French uh, ink, uh, J.R. Bang, Terre de Feu. I've never used this font, uh, this ink before. It's been sitting on my shelf for a week or two now, and uh, I thought this was the perfect opportunity. Since it is a converter type fountain pen, filling it is fairly easy. Remove the barrel, put down the piston in the cartridge, dunk, dunk in the pen. The uh, the knob for the piston is so smooth. It actually gets a pretty good feel. Has a little bit of air gap at the top. Okay, cleaning it, cleaning it, it's a little bit of a pain because of this step down at the at the nib. So you'll kind of have to get your paper in there somehow and just slowly wipe it. And that's it. Let me put this away and I'll come back with a little bit of a writing sample. So we said we're going to call this whatever it says on the nib. Pen feels like grabby a little bit on this paper. I might do a little bit of a smoothing on it before using uh, using it for drawing. But I think I'm gonna like the way this pen hashes. It looks like uh, it doesn't puddle the lines and you can get pretty good fine lines out of it. 
Now on the nib, it doesn't actually says what's the size of the nib. By the look of it, it's extra fine to find. Oh no, I'm lying. It does says F for fine. Reverse completely unusable from what I can see. Which kind of sucks, because it looks like you could have got a little bit finer in there. The pen feels very nice writing, I have no issues with it. Doesn't scratch in any way, in any direction that I'm doing. It's nice, it's really nice. I just need to smooth it out a little bit, I think. It grabs a little bit too much on the paper. For today's drawing, I will be using as inspiration again one of my pictures. Uh, this was taken during the fall and it was taken with a film camera, Pentax MX if I remember correctly, on um, Ilford 400 film. This was actually taken in the studio. I found this um, in um, the little park that is behind my house. I still have this somewhere in a, in a vase and uh, it looks pretty cool, I like it. Should be an interesting drawing, hopefully it will turn out okay. Like usual, I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. But before I uh, start drawing, I wanted to share an idea and uh, more like ask you guys if you're interested in this. So what I've been doing today, I've been actually having fun to do some prints on a 0.5 by 11 inches uh, photo paper and um, I was doing prints of the actual sketches that I've been doing over the couple of months and I actually really like the results so the question that I had for you guys is uh, if anybody would be interested if I would make um, occasional giveaways uh, with uh, prints from the sketches that I have would anybody care to have anything like that or not? So please do let me know in the comment section below if you are interested or not. I will try, if, if I get a lot of requests and uh, interest in this, I will start giving away with these four prints that I just have in front of me right now. Uh, basically the flower, the butterfly, uh, this was a winter um, a scene, and this was a mushroom in a hollow tree. They turn out pretty interesting, pretty nice. I I like them, and again the paper is actually good quality paper. It's um, Ilford paper, and is uh, one of the art uh, paper satin like or something like that. I don't remember the actual name. Anyway, if you're interested, let me know. In the meantime, I'm gonna go on and carry with this uh, seed pod. Hopefully, it will turn out good. Like usual, I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. I can only hope, right? And I'll see you soon with conclusions.
I think I am done with this for tonight. Um, this one kind of took away from me uh, for whatever reason. Is life? It felt like I just didn't know when to stop to shade this thing, and I was keep on shading and shading and shading, and then everything kind of turned out to be almost at the same level. And I'm kind of missing depth in this um, in this drawing. I try to even cheat a little bit and I uh, brought in a little bit of a black trying to to try and do some separation but eh, it is what it is some days are good some days are bad I guess anyway um, going back to the font pen I actually am very pleasantly surprised with the font pen I really like it um, it didn't really skip a bit and it worked very well actually um, and it felt very good working with it um, I tended to use it more a lot like this so it was uh, kind of um, ending up sitting in this position on my uh, in my hand so based on this feeling I guess a lot of people might not like it so uh, its length. Anyway, going through the positive and negatives about this pen. Well, I do like, personally, I do like the wood constructions and how this pen, it's heavier nib side. So basically it's naturally just pointing down, which is kind of, kind of cool. I like the cap design, especially the leafy, uh, leafy feel or leafy impression that this uh, thing gives. Um, he has a, a nice design and actually suits the pen very well the way it looks like. It's a perfect match. They do have a black version as well and I think on the black version the clip stands out a little bit more because the wood is actually darker than the clip. It does have a nice uh, number five nib that I actually enjoy. And the fine, it's actually fine as it should be. Uh, it is a number fine, but I think it suits the pen quite nicely. However, I think that if this nib would have been a little bit longer, maybe the the length would have not been such a big issue. Because in order, the problem with the small nibs is that in order to be able and uh, write with it properly so your finger doesn't actually drag on the paper, you have to hold it a little bit uh, higher. So that means you kind of give up on um, barrel length. However, if the knee would have been a number six and a little bit longer, you could hold it a little bit lower. So then you gain a little bit on uh, the length of this um, barrel. But overall, it's, it's okay, again, for me. However, like I mentioned, most probably a lot of people won't like the length of this pen. Another positive, oh, well, I don't know how much of a positive it is. I don't have the box, but the cup box that it came with, it was actually quite a very nice box. And I know there are people out there that do care about the boxes, which is nothing wrong with it. So you might like the box that comes with it. And uh, that's about it for positive. Good looking, well behaved, and um, unique in its own way. I like it. Now, as negatives, I think that the biggest issue is that you cannot actually pause the pen. And I understand a lot of people will hate this. If you would have been able to actually pause this pen, I think the length would have been perfect. And I mean perfect. Maybe there's a future design where maybe you have like a metal insert at the top, just the way you have... Uh, the met this portion where it clips into the pen, I mean into the cap, and that will uh, help post the pen, or maybe something a little bit tighter, but I guess the wood in time could actually wear out, and maybe it's not a good idea, maybe the clip metal clip will still be a better choice. And um, the other biggest issue that I uh, personally find with the pen is that there is no metal insert or uh, plastic insert at least uh, to help save that piece of wood. I mean, 
wood is easier to shave than plastic or especially metal so having these metal threads might not be a good idea to go directly on the wood piece so my only recommendation is i did not get a chance to actually look for the o-rings i don't know what i put them it's going to take me a little bit longer to figure out however whenever i'll do it i'll uh, make a comment and pin it in the in the comment section and i'll let you know if it worked out or not uh, but yeah, if you buy this pen, just be very careful, don't over tighten it and just, just snug it and that's it, nothing else. The cool part about it is that this metal and uh, barrel, wood barrel actually, they meet very nicely and there's no sharp edges or anything that will be uncomfortable. You just gotta be a little bit more careful with it, that's all. And uh, I think that's about it nothing else to say about this fountain pen if you have any other qu questions please do let me know in the comment section below also um, weight dimensions are in the description if you if you're curious about uh, about it and that's about it oh yeah and uh, as a reminder do let me know i mean not that i do anything extremely great but if by any chance anybody's interested i could start planning to do these giveaways in the future just let me know if anyone by any chance is interested and um, that's it thanks a lot for joining me um, i'll see you next time hopefully with uh, something better and uh, i wish you all a good night and a good day whatever you are and all the best take care bye